Alright, so today I am going to be reviewing the Bugatti B202 lighter. I actually reviewed this previously, but the camera was not focused. It was my second review, I believe, and I just rewatched it again, and it was terrible. So, let's go over features first of all. It features a sleek Zippo esque design, open, close, pretty easily. As Zippos, it has a butane insert which contains two very big fuel reservoirs, reservoirs, excuse me, and two very powerful butane torches. Now, something I failed to mention the last time is that this actually comes with a very, very sharp, very useful cigar punch. If I can get this out, I recently cut my fingernails and now it seems impossible to get. Well, this is a problem. I will come back to you when I actually figure this out. Alright, we are back. As you can see, it contains a very sharp, very handy cigar punch. It is held together with, looks like, titanium hinges. So there's not much chance of this breaking. There's also a screw right at the base, so it's attached quite firmly. And it is actually spring-loaded, so if you can see, if you take it to that far, and you just tap it, it clicks back into place, fully ready. So hold it like that, and use it as a car punch. Comes in very handy if you don't have one on you. So, in the other review, I gave a story about this lighter, and I will do the same one. When I first got this lighter, I was quite excited about it. I immediately filled it up with butane and proceeded to attempt to smoke a cigar with it. Now I say attempt because I didn't get very far into the process before the pun of the story happened. I was lighting the cigar, toasted the foot, put it the cigar in my actual mouth, started puffing on it to finish the light, and either I didn't realize quite how powerful this is or I just completely missed the cigar it's possible I'm not I have my moments of being really stupid so it's entirely possible I just missed it but to make a long story short I actually singed the inside of my nose there is a minor burn mark on the outside of my nose and I had the smell of burning hair for roughly three days afterwards it did not hurt terribly bad but it did hurt However, it smelled terrible, and it literally made my food, because I don't know if you know anything about the palate. Well, you probably do, but I'll tell the story anyways. If something happens to your nose, it affects, I believe, it's 40% of your palate. So, virtually everything I tasted had a hint of singed nose hairs in it. It was not pleasant. So, when using this very powerful Bugatti B202 lighter... Be aware of that. Don't be like me. It's not fun. It is, does not smell good. And it's a very unpleasant experience. So as I said before, two very powerful butane torches. Now you can see it goes out about two inches. Maybe about, about an inch and a half. Probably being a little, gen little generous calling it two. However, it burns at about four inches away. When I tend to light my cigars with this and I actually think about lighting them properly... It's normally between four to five inches away from the actual lighter itself. It is, again, very, very powerful. Good lighter. Very nice design to it. I bought this from Cigars International. Normally, it retails for, I was 110 However, I got it for, excuse me, you can get it off the website for 50 bucks. I got it from Cigars International's uh, Make Me an Offer little category side site app I guess I don't really know what you want to call it but it's interesting and I got it for $35 and that includes shipping and everything else so very nice lighter very cheap price I have other lighters many other lighters actually that cost roughly the same and do not have the same quality the same nose hair singeing awesomeness if you would call it so if you're a fan of the cars, you know they are very luxurious automobiles. Personally, I'm not that big of a car fan, but I've seen the vehicles. I did my research, and it is a very, very high-end luxury vehicle, race car, sports car, whatever you want to call it. 
Either way, for the price, it's luxury to me because that's a luxury I cannot afford. The lighters are pretty much the same. Spending $100 for a lighter is extravagant. However, with cigars, you want it to heat up properly. You want the foot to be toasted properly. You want it to be done effectively so you can actually taste the cigar, enjoy the cigar, all the experience, not have to worry about butane running out, lighters messing up. That's a very consistent lighter. I've lit it many, many times. The one pitfall I have to say about it is it claims to light on time every time. They said it's like a sure light technology or something like that. As you'll see, it's not the case. First light, nothing but fuel. Second light, always lights up. I don't know why that is. It could be a dud from, on my part, but despite that fact, I still really, really like this lighter. So, my overall review is get it. It's worth the price. It's not that big. My hands are not huge, not small, but you can get a pretty good idea. There's palm size. I don't know. I could probably show you, you know. Clebre Slice Cutter in comparison. As I miss it completely. A little bit smaller. So, very me uh, very manageable. Can fit in your pocket or anywhere you want to go. On top of that, comes with a cutter. Very, very nice. Some of you might not like punch cutters, but if you don't have one, it's better than taking a butter knife to it. I've actually done that before. Didn't have anything else. Really wanted a cigar. Used a butter knife. It worked, kind of destroyed everything about the cigars you can imagine but I mean I was desperate now I never will be again there's a pretty good idea right there so overall highly recommend it recommend you buy it not at full price though check out cigars international for 50 bucks or go to the make me an offer option and try your luck I did it for $35 maybe you can get it for even less who knows, I tried $20 and was declined, tried $35 and it was accepted. Maybe you would have accepted $25, maybe $30, who knows. Try your luck, it's entirely possible. Either way, great lighter for what I got it for, very good price. Highly recommend you go out, go out there and get yourself one so you can enjoy your cigar smoking experience to its fullest. This has been the Bugatti B202 Cigar Lighter. And this is Indie Cigar Review. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If not, it is entirely up to you, and it always will be. I want to wish you all out there a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Currently, it is 6.08 p.m. where I am at. However, when you watch this video, it might be different. So, whatever time, whatever place, I hope you have a great day. You've enjoyed the video, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening, morning, afternoon whatever it may be, twilight, hell, anything. Just have a great day and a great time. Thank you.